Hello and welcome. Today we're going to talk about online metronomes and I'm going to give you seven online metronomes that can actually help you with your daily music practice. So let's dive right in. All right, so if you start from Google and search for online metronome, you'll be presented with several different options, of course. And uh, the, the first metronome I want to talk about is the, the Google one, the one that is shown at the top of the search results, this one, which is very basic. But, you know, if you don't need the fancy functions, you can really use this one works pretty well you can uh, change uh, the, the value of a bit per minute and uh, it looks pretty good uh, on uh, um, on a phone as well as you can see you can use the same right here now the audio is not hearable but it works pretty well I mean you can you can really use it inside a phone and uh, um, so getting back to the results, the, the next one I want to talk about is this one from uh, metronomeonline.com, which is actually a website made just for a metronome. And uh, this one is pretty interesting. Uh, unfortunately, it has a lot of ads, um, but it's, uh, you know, a little bit more fancy, even though uh, its functions are still pretty basic. So you can started this way you can change the tempo um, this other way you can decide when, how many beats per minute you want to have and it's giving you also you know the, um, the tempo uh, words here adagio andante moderato allegro you can also actually give them uh, yeah there is some buggy <laughs> stuff going on here but you can also tap your own tempo and should pick it up you see yeah it doesn't work that perfectly but it works pretty well and also you can change the time signature if you want to let me stop it okay so if you want to do um, um, a three quarters and uh, you can also decide the, the kind of sound you want if you want dark mode or not you also have a 440 hertz uh, tuning uh, sound, which may be useful. And uh, if you change the, the time signature, it's giving an accent accordingly to the time signature you choose. In this case, the 6-8. Yeah, you see, it can be, can be pretty useful, this. And it works on a phone as well. As you can see, it's very well shown. Uh, so you can use it on the go if you need to. It's important to have a metronome, a web online metronome that works on a phone as well. All right, so the next one I want to talk about is the next in line, which is uh, uh, from imusicschool.com. And this metronome is very clean uh, and has very interesting features. Um, you still have the basic features such as you can define the beats per minute and you have the corresponding uh, uh, tempo word. Um, you can decide how many beats per bar you want. So if you have a piece in three quarters, you can define three here and you can define the stress first beat. So it just give you the first beat highlighted. Yeah, you can also um, you can also define, which is very interesting, you know, your, okay, your own tap as I shown before. But what is more interesting um, about this metronome is uh, the fact that you can have subdivisions. So if you have a very slow piece of music, let's say in that uh, two quarters uh, time signature, and um, you want to have subdivisions uh, for every beat, uh, you can have that by de defining this option. You can also have four for each beat. Or if you have a, a compound time signature, such as uh, six eighths, you can have even the tuplets defined here, or even this interesting swinged subdivision. And of course, uh, underneath you find all the instructions, which is it's very, really, really nice. It looks like there are also corresponding app 
uh, for uh, Android and Apple. And uh, this metronome looks pretty good on a phone as well. Uh, so it's uh, portable and you can use it on the go. Okay, the next metronome I want to talk about the next in list, which is the one from Musica, online metronome, which looks very simple. And uh, what does What's the, the, the interesting feature about this metronome is that you can uh, play a bar and mute the next one. So you have a, if you have a, a, a four-quarter time signature piece and you want to practice, you can start the metronome with this option turned on and it's going to give you the metronome for one bar and off for the next one and then on again for the next one and then off again, which is... Uh, in my opinion, very helpful for practice, so you can see how it works. Yeah, I would really recommend this metronome. This is really, really nice. And it looks good uh, on uh, a phone as well, which is very important. Okay, so the next interesting metronome in list is uh, this one by Flute Tunes. And I like this because even though it looks a little bit, you know, old style, um, the designer website and you have big ads around, um, it has this kind of different uh, user interface that may be interesting um, from an academic standpoint. So you can see exactly the beats numbered this way. And you can, of course, remove the stress of the beat. But what is more, most interesting is just the UI. And it looks okay on iPhone, even though it's not doesn't look like being really optimized for a phone use, but it works. And another metronome which is interesting to me is this one by Violin Inspiration, which has a different kind of uh, user interface, which I like. It's clean. It's uh, colorful and uh, you can uh, um, see how it works the the beats are shown around this uh, circle in the center and uh, if you change the beats those change as well which may be useful for you know children or other beginners to understand how um, bar beats are defined inside the bar and uh, as before you can uh, change the tempo here and uh, you can have additional settings such as subdivisions as I shown before which may be very useful and you can see the UI here changes accordingly so you can see exactly where the subdivisions go between the beats. This is really interesting you have very complex rhythms here of course Fast doesn't make much sense, but probably for slower tempos may be useful. And it looks uh, pretty good on a phone as well, so you can definitely use it. All right, so the last metronome I want to talk about today is our own metronome, um, which is uh, um, reachable on virtualstreamuse.com slash metronome. And... Uh, it was designed with uh, several options. Uh, you can, and it looks like a real, you know, physical old style metronome. And there are instructions given, so you can start the metronome here. And it also sounds like a, a real old metronome. You can slide the slider here. You have uh, the bits per minute here, which actually you can change as you like. Um, by entering actually a number. If you want to have it 120, you do enter it. And it gives you also the option to just start from the, the tempo word instead of the beats, uh, which is also another interesting feature. Uh, so if you have a larghetto, you can define that and have the corresponding uh, beats per minute. And uh, you can also have uh, a, a loose metronome, it's called which uh, gives you any kind of uh, tempo which is outside the regular metronome. So it shows you that it's not a real metronome, uh, but that may be useful for, you know, if you want to fine tune your tempo for any reason, you can do it. 
and of course you also have a, a, a flash mode uh, which is useful if you don't want to hear the the beat and uh, uh, but you want to just see you know the beats in a visual way so you can mute the sound put the flash mode on on screen and you can see how it works just the entire screen flashes which is very useful and also have yeah you can actually switch between the button the button flashing or the screen of course you can also have both you can have you can have the, the sound metronome and the screen flashing if you really want to get crazy but and also you can change the sounds if you want real percussion or electronic uh, i like the real one and uh, uh, of course this metronome also has the tempo tapper so you can define your tempo it works very well and uh, also what is very interesting about this metronome is uh, the accent options you may have so you still can have oh let's do regular metronome you can have you know the the accent every you know two three four beats or whatever uh, but you can also have a cycle so if you have a cycle you can decide arbitrarily how you want your beats to be so you can have you know um, 12 beats and have an accent every I don't know every four two three four something like that and maybe useful for uh, if you have, uh, you know, a piece of music with, um, I don't know, um, strange time signatures such as five fourth, for example, you can you can have the the third and the and the fifth beat uh, stressed, and uh, let me see, you should put in five. You can have something like this. You see what I mean? That may be useful for some repertoire. So this is very very interesting metronome we have worked a lot on this a few years back you have also a lot of instructions and a glossary um, a brief history of the metronome which may be uh, interesting and of course if you have any questions or comments post them below and of course it looks very well inside a phone so you can really use it well like an application so no problems with that well, all right, so what do you think? Do you have any better online metronome you want to share with us? If so, please post it in the comments below. And if you have any questions or any ideas or thoughts, please send them by email to tipsandinsights at virtualsheetmusic.com. I'll be happy to get in touch with you. So I'll see you in the next one.